Oh, wow. So, um, somebody on Instagram had sent and linked me to a lot of posts that she had made highlighting various trans identified males who are dangerous, who are convicted rapists, killers, stalkers, abusers, all form of male pattern violence. And these are being, in many cases, counted as female crimes, hashtag not our crimes. So uh, because she was so gracious to tag me in all of this hard work that she did, I have decided to create a sub-series on this channel and we will profile different trans-identified males who have conducted themselves in a way that is consistent with male pattern violence. Uh, when choosing who I wanted to start with, Oh, and first of all, I want to say if anybody has an idea for what I should name this series, I was thinking of calling it Not Our Crimes, but um, if anybody else has any good ideas, please let me know in the comments. I would love to create like a little sub, um, just like a, maybe a sub intro for this or something, but I'm thinking of calling it Not Our Crimes, so if you have any other better ideas, I would love to hear them in the comments. Um, but for the first one I wanted to start off, I was thinking of doing Karen White, famous 52-year-old Karen White, who was... Uh, who had secured transfer to a female prison where he was convicted of raping several inmates and has now thankfully been sentenced to life imprisonment not before irreparably traumatizing and doing physical damage to uh, several of her cellmates and what we know about females who are locked up are typically locked up for either nonviolent crimes or if they are violent crimes it's either crimes to put an end to abuse or done at the behest of a boyfriend or some other man. It's just sad to know that these women faced cruel and unusual punishment by being housed with a violent, intact male who had the capacity to rape and he did so. So uh, what I found very interesting about this was I when I went to go look up information on Karen White, I was like, well, I want to start with Karen White because I kind of feel like that's the most notorious, but I was like, you know, but is it overdone? Should I start with somebody uh, a little more obscure so I was like well let me just see how you know prolific this story has been told so I expected there to be like all kinds of hits when I typed in Karen Wayne to YouTube and what came up nothing Nothing. From the first page of my YouTube hit, no, there was nothing. And it's that's scary to me. We need to be our own news source. We understand that the mainstream media, all of our most trusted institutions, can no longer be trusted. And here's just a perfect example. Uh, Princeton University, an Ivy League college that is one of the oldest colleges in the United States in Princeton, New Jersey. It's one of the most trusted uh, institutions for higher learning, for academia, for you know knowledge in this country that we export around the world. And what do they have an exhibition on? Sissy porn. This is the sort of filth that's going on in higher learning, in higher education. It's not fucking okay. See, all of our most trusted institutions, the mainstream media, uh, even universities, and again, Princeton is the same university that uh, kicked out its professors for pro proclaiming gender critical views. Professors, so we have to be the ones to get word out. We have to be our own news source. We can't depend on anybody at this point. Demon. It ain't nothing she could do but pray for me. Oh, Alright, so I went over to start with Twitter because, you know, the thing is, if you've noticed too with a lot of like mainstream media sources is they'll basically all recycle the same exact stories. I wanted to go to Twitter first to see what was being talked about just on the topic of trans women in prisons. And so the thing that I find so interesting is it's that if, if trans rights activists actually listen to their own arguments, they, they would realize... The, our argument, it, like, they're making our argument for us. So, um, let's see. Velosa Craptor Sorry, I'm, like, so much <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I said, any penis, <laughs> any penis in a woman's prison is a risk, inmate or guard. Trans women reckon men are a risk to them. If it was about safety, you'd be delighted to see trans women and women safe. 
But it's actually about validation, though. So women are acceptable, acceptable collateral damage in your eyes, right? Excellent question. Let's see what the response was. On the other side, it says, are you stating seven incidences across 15 years in five different prisons as a reason to force all trans women into other prisons? Which would definitely be a target for fetishizers and chasers. Oh. Uh oh, so you mean definitely be a target for fetishizers and chasers? So, so you mean uh, people that would use legal loopholes and bend the system to work in their benefit and to manipulate the system to 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 satisfy their own perversions is that, is that what you're saying oh so sort of like how if we allow self id laws to grant males access into female prisons oh, oh but that doesn't happen that that doesn't happen it's only it, it's only people are going to be uh, pushing their way, way in to get with these trans-identified male. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I hate to break this to you. I really, I really hate being the one. But, um, yeah, straight men <laughs> and a lot of gay men are not exactly, like, clamoring <laughs> to be with you guys. I know you, <laughs> I know you guys have, like, these delusions of, like, you know, being, like, what was the, the one person saying? Like, imagining fetishizing about like men having their way with you yeah no honey i'm sorry i don't i don't think that you're not exactly like the prime cut of the <laughs> prime rib over here right. lol you're using karen white and utter the utter pos trans person to claim that you don't hate trans people guess what we don't like being associated as a community with our worst just like you as a cis woman doesn't like being associated with rose west or Be beverly allett the difference is those women and their crimes do not highlight major flaws with some piece of legislation. That's the difference. Like the whole gaslighting thing. The, let's just get into the story and then we can talk about it from there, okay? And you know what I always find so amazing? How it's as soon as these people are revealed for being utter of just human filth piles of human dog shit and then suddenly it's ah oh, wow they, they, they weren't even trans that duh yeah that oh yeah karen white oh please you know we don't claim her uh, uh well you did all right so we're gonna do the guardian outlet just you guys can let me know in the comments um and, and give me some suggestions in the future of who i should uh R.I.P. John Madden. Oh shit, John Madden. I don't know. All right, uh, Karen White. How manipulative transgender inmate attacked again. Former neighbors. Oh, it, oh god, this is definitely British. It's definitely British. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so former neighbors described 15, 52 year. Ew, 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 ew. Did he have like some kind of like bad like facelift? You can tell it's all like. Ah, it's like the creepy. Like it puts the lotion on his skin again. Ew. Ew, or else it gets the hose again. That, that's totally like the vibe I'm getting from this guy. All right, former neighbors described the 52-year-old as volatile and violent amid questions of replacement in women's prison. Transgender politics, just like any politics, can be divisive. Uh, yet in the case of Karen White, who is legally still a man but was put in a female-only prison, if that doesn't fucking tell you, all we need to know there's no standards. There's no process. And, and they want to eliminate the process. And they, they, they treat it as, oh, you know, trans people are being denied health care. Anytime you hear the term trans, uh, uh, trans people being denied trans health care, trans health care means cosmetic surgeries. I'm being denied my BBL. Okay? So, yeah, you know, I'm an AFAB trans woman, and I want a BBL, so run me my shit. I heard that this shit's getting covered by Medicaid. What's really good? Okay, because I need some of my trans health care. And if you, if you play with me, all right, I, I, I'm, really, I'm really finna call uh, the ACLU on your ass. And, and we'll just, we'll make this a whole thing. All right, so I really don't think that you want that. So just run me my BBL. It's like, what, cost me 10 grand? 10 bands, you got that. Come on, bro. All right, so transgender politics, like any politics, can be divisive. Yet, in the case of Karen White, who is legally still a man, but was it put in a female-only prison, both sides of the transgender rights debate are united in the belief mistakes were made. Oh, are we really, are, are we really united? 
Okay, because what I'm seeing on Twitter is everybody being like, oh, well, it happens, okay, you know? But, I mean, it's it, that's just part of the game, you know? And now now they're trying to say that, what, that women rape each other? To, first of all, I'm sorry, but what the fuck does it mean for a woman to rape another woman? Because the last time I checked, okay, females, what was it, like, female to female transmission of STDs is, like, virtually non-existent. You, like... It's, I think there was like one documented case of female to female trans, a lesbian transmission of HIV. And then they're like not even sure if it was actually female to female. So it's virtually impossible to get HIV from women. Okay, same thing with like a lot of other STDs. Uh, you don't get pregnant by, so what the fuck do you mean by rape? What, what, like sticking her fingers in me? I'm, you know, you're not raping me with a penis. And that, and I'm sorry, but that has huge that that has consequences that that has significance okay men can rape each other men can rape women you know women can rape children okay absolutely you know and women can assault other women women can sexually assault other women okay but 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 uh no the the type of penile rape that that's why maybe we just need another word because to conflate uh you know a, a woman sexually assaulting another woman with a man uh, vaginally or, or anally penetrating or even orally penetrating a woman with his penis it is pretty goddamn it, it different. So, so miss me with the bullshit. Okay. White entered the UK prison system as transgender. However, despite dressing as a woman, the 52-year-old had not had... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you mean despite dressing as a woman i thought you get like a pair of sweatpants and a white tee what kind of well, i'm sorry what kind of like fashion options do they have in prison or or, or you mean she was wearing like blouses from Je dress barn what does that mean oh wait, 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 i i'm sorry i thought that being transgender is not just a fashion statement so every time we say oh what what is it because you dress like a woman that you dress like a woman that's what makes you trans and like no that is that has nothing that is not it i don't owe you femininity i don't owe you masculinity i can wear whatever i want and still be trans what the, so okay but the but the way that we're we're uh validating uh mr white's trans identity is because he was dressing like a woman whatever the fuck that means okay let's go so uh the 52 year old had not undergone any surgery and was still legally male he and also listen they're using she her hers pronouns you got me fucked up if you think that i'm gonna be using those so if I, mess, if I mix up, it's because I'm reading it. But I will try to mentally delete and put in him, his, he, whatever. All right, let, let's do this. He was also convicted. He was also a convicted pedophile and honorable man for grievous bodily harm, burglary, multiple rapes, and other sexual offenses against women. And I'll leave this as an opportunity to mention that there is a 40% increase of trans identified men in prisons who are also sex offenders. Okay, 40% of trans identified males in custody are sex offenders. As compared to like, what is it, like 16% of regular males and like 1.6% of females? Yeah. Uh, so the decision to move White to a women's prison was made public after she admitted in court to the sexual assault and the multiple rapes committed before she was sent to prison. If this doesn't tell you that we don't care about women, that, that women are just like, just like Velociraptor, Vel Velociraptor. <laughs> Yo, whoever that is, can someone find her and, like, please, like, tweet my video to her because it's, like, really funny. I really like your handle. <laughs> um, but it is... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Velocicrafter. <laughs> okay. But if this doesn't tell you... Listen, if this doesn't tell you that, like, people do not... Because you can just be my comfort animal. <laughs> um, if this doesn't tell you that, like, we don't care about... <laughs> sorry. Okay, shh, shh, stop, stop. Okay, listen, no, like, all right, guys. It's a really serious topic, okay. <clears throat> if this doesn't tell you, if this doesn't tell you that we 
as a society do not take women seriously. Uh, I, you know, that women are seen as an acceptable collateral to men's identity and, and what, like, again, you know, women are some sort of comfort animal to men who are having anxiety and men who, who can't fit in in a male prison. It's not okay. No, we, we aren't here for that. No, no, we're, we're not. We're not a service dog. Okay, no, no thanks. Jesus fucking Christ. So, yeah, so on remand for grievous bodily harm, burglary, multiple rapes, and other sexual offenses against women. So this is like a sexually depraved psychopath that they just, you know, oh, yeah, no big deal. Let's just send her over to the women's. Come on, full, a full-bodied penis man. In West Yorkshire, during a three-month period at the female prison, she sexually assaulted two other inmates. The decision to move White to a women's prison was made public after she admitted in court the sexual assault and multiple rapes committed before she was sent. Those who had met White were shocked that she was moved to a female prison, describing the convicted sex offender as manipulative and controlling, and questioned her commitment to transition. The Ministry of Justice has since apologized for the placement. Oh! 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 said that they apologized already oh my god oh my god i just wasted all this time. oh my god oh well fuck this video hello they already apologized what are we even still talking about this for oh you apologized yeah guess what we don't fucking accept every woman that this freak show came in contact with um run me their parole like right the fuck now and not only run me their parole but you know what i want them all the way off i don't give a fuck especially the ones that, that are in there for abusing their husbands run them their parole right now okay every single person that was in contact with karen white and also i want all my homegirls to be on some kind of like long-term payout and I don't ever want this shit to happen again. I want this conversation to be closed. Oh, they apologize. Oh, oh, they apologize. Oh, oh. Yo, do I look like I, huh? Apologize to who? Yo, and first of all, one thing I will say, I don't like the fact that they scapegoated Mr. White because he's not the only criminal in this shit. Every single person involved in decision making uh, for the parliament or, or whoever the hell else, whatever it is in, in Britain, whoever was involved in, 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 in that decision, whoever even created the environment. The legal environment for a decision like that to be made needs to be held accountable. I want like a public, a public flogging and, and, and every single woman, uh, I, I want there to be some sort of like, like tribunal led by the women who were raped and then any other woman who was, you know, uh, housed with this piece of shit. And, and listen, they get full jurisdiction over what happens to these assholes on some really real shit. Okay. So let's see. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, they apologize. Oh. Ho, ho. <laughs> For now, White is being held at HM Prison Leeds, a Category B men's. I don't know what that is. Is that like a medium? That Yo, that better be super max. Okay. Uh, category B men's prison and is undergoing gender reassignment. Yo, hold on. They're letting this scumbag get gender reassignment surgery. So he's allowed to indulge in his sick freak fetish meanwhile women can't even get contact visits on christmas women are on 20 24 hour lockdown during covid women got to see their kids what uh once a week behind you know uh a foot of glass bulletproof glass and talk on a phone and then this scumbag gets to get taxpayer gender reassignment surgery you've got to be fucking kidding me you know people you know the uh cancer patients you don't get you want to get screened for cancer. They basically wait till you're like dying and then they'll give you the bare minimum. We can't, yo. <sighs> Medical help in prison is one of the most scarce resources. People are getting sick from abscessed teeth. They can't get dental care. And we're paying for some weird genital mutilation placebo surgery so that this freak show can live out his role pet playing fantasy fetish to 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 colonize the body of a woman
says Jenny Ann Bishop from the transgender rights group Transform. Keep an eye on that one. Said local transgender case board made up for prison managers and psychologists decides where to place prisoners such as white within three days of a prisoner being taken into custody. The board allows the prisoner to make representations and considers any risks and whether the individual has been living in the gender with which they identify. They consider any risks. This is a admitted rapist, a pedophile, uh, and like a, a violent, sexual, deviant predator. Convicted and admitted. They clearly didn't consider those risks or the risk that this is a penis individual and this is a male and we're thinking about housing them with females. That their case closed. I, you know what? I solved it for you. Like, that's the risk. That's there is no more. There's nothing else to discuss. There's no no further combo needed. We don't need. You know what? Call off the psychologists. You know, note that we don't. We don't. We don't need them. Like, what? What is there else is there to discuss? That that's the scary part. And clearly, the, this was a major breakdown. And it's crazy that we're able to bring together all of these. How I wonder how much each psychologist uh, hour, hourly wages. I, I wonder how much all of these people are getting paid. So one hour of work, okay. Uh, so if each each personnel. Some of these are masters prepared psychologists and and medical personnel. How much it's going to cost to convene them on behalf of Mr. White and, and his uh, AGP deviant sexual fetish to go uh, immerse himself in uh, a land of, of female prisoners who can't escape him. We're, but we're, well, I'm just for the record, we're paying for that. Uh, what was it? In 20... God, what was it? 2018, 2019, um, Angela Stanton King successfully petitioned then President uh, Donald Trump to abolish the shackling of female prisoners in labor. Up until that point, it, it was common practice to shackle women in labor. They would have their hands shackled to the bed. You know how cruel and unusual that it makes me want to fucking cry. Do you know how cruel and unusual that is? It is so hard for pregnant. It is so hard for pregnant inmates to get adequate care. <laughs> and, and we're worried about getting together a bunch of psychologists on behalf of Mr. White's jerk off fantasy. And yet. Yet heavily pregnant inmates can't get sufficient caloric intake. Mothers can't hug their kids. They, they see their kids behind a, a foot of bulletproof glass and have to talk to them on the phone. But, we're, but we're, we're, we're making sure to convene a panel of experts to figure out where to place this penis psychopathic pedophile sex offender well, let me help you out he belongs with the men and, and probably in the hole all right so the board uh ch -ch -ch. if the board's decision is challenged a local review board reconsiders the evidence finally a complex case board can be set up to handle cases involving those aged 21 and under and those at risk for causing harm to themselves or others oh great so now we have somebody who's a risk for causing harm to themselves or others. It, it, well, I mean, if they're a risk for that, then we got to place them with the women, right? Because as we all know, women's only job is to serve as support animals for, for, for disturbed individuals. That, that's our role, right? We, we, are we supposed to like mentor him, take him under our wing, heal him, fix him? No, you got me fucked up. Uh... That is just cruel and unusual. It's beyond cruel and unusual. 
It is believed the decision to place White in a women's prison was made only at the first level by a local case board. Bishop says the board should have taken into account all offending history, but failed to do so. Bishop, who met White at a transform support group meeting in Manchester about five years ago, said, so basically this trans, this person, trans identified male who runs uh, some kind of trans rights uh, advocacy group called Transform, uh, runs support support group meetings and that's where they this person originally met mr white on the streets so this was this person's impression of mr white when i met her I, i'm gonna use she her but only because i i'm i want to uh quote this person verbatim correctly okay not because i'm recognizing this person's gender right now i don't give a fuck obviously uh when i met her she was at the beginning of her transition she didn't transition at all uh, but I felt that she was somebody who didn't listen to any advice. She seemed like somebody who was very much going to plow her own furrow, regardless of the community advice, and was going to demand her rights. Oh, kind of like you assholes? Oh, kind of like how you assholes are pl plowing your own furrow and aren't listening to, to the cries and the desperate pleas of women in prisons? Oh, kind of like that. Okay, cool, cool. It takes one to know one, right? She insisted people refer to her and her acquired gender without trying terribly hard to present herself as a woman. Oh, I thought you guys always talk about how you don't owe anybody femininity. Which, you know, the problem is you, you guys really need to get together and, and agree on what the fuck makes a transgender person. Because you love, you love to distance yourself as soon as one of these freak shows is bold enough to reveal them as they really are. Okay. Uh, Bishop said that over the years she had met thousands of trans people, but White stood out. I did feel she, that she was somebody not to mess with. Other members of the community said that she had very short temper. I did get the impression that she needed to go to an anger management course. Oh, what, what, what was it? What was it? The, um, sexual assault on a child or the violent rapes or was it the armed burglaries or was it the long, horrifying criminal record oh or was it just like a, a sense that you got oh, okay cool um before entering the prison system white was living in a social housing complex in the village of my thermomoroid west york i have no idea what the fuck i'm sorry i don't know how the fuck to pronounce that west yorkshire previously known as david thompson within a fortnight of moving that's a month so all my american buddies uh moving in she had asked to be known as karen white Residents. Oh, but we're all still respecting this scumbag. You know what? This drives me insane. People are literally acknowledging that this does not seem like somebody who is has any kind of gender dysphoria or, or any real desire to live as a woman. And yet we're still in the editorially acknowledging her preferred pronouns. I don't give a fuck. No, and if they, we're not sending a message that we're still upholding the, the respect of Karen White, this this freak show, David, whatever his name is. But that's still, it's still so crucial. No, I don't care. Uh, let's see. Resident said over a three-year period, he presided over a reign of terror, physically and verbally abusing others with some residents having to move away. All wanted to remain anonymous for fear of reprisals. One of the residents said that White was initially charming, but over time he became incredibly aggressive and residents feared for their safety. She said that White was controlling and threatened to report many for hate crimes. Ah, and you all bought it, line and sinker. Yeah, th this is how the Holocaust happened. You can't tell me shit. We did not have a problem with her being transgender. We already had another transgender woman living here and we all got on just fine. The woman said she was always calling the police, accusing us of hate crimes against her. And then she started getting violent. It was a terrifying time for all of us. We wish we had never been placed here. Oh, I'll, oh, you want to hear me do a British accent? Oh, I'll do one. <laughs> the final straw came when White repeatedly stabbed an ale. <laughs> Wait, what? The final straw game when White repeatedly stabbed an elderly male resident. What the fuck? So you guys just ignored every other red flag and just took it out and then he just had to murder somebody for us to get it together. Like, like what? Uh, the man said she just went for me. It was completely out of the blue. I still feel scared of my own. The man said, this is the man who was stabbed by freak show Karen White. Uh... 
who I guess his real name's David, David Thompson, by Freak Show David Thompson. The man, the elderly man who was stabbed said, quote, she just went for me. It was completely out of the blue. I feel scared in my own home. We're still respecting this person's pronouns. This freak of nature. Like, this is like when I got kicked out of the domestic violence group because I referred to, refu to refer to one of the abusers as she, her, when it was a male who was beating the shit out of his, the mother of his toddler. No, no, no thanks. You got me fucked up. Like, oh, all the way fucked up. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. The, the man staggered into another resident's flat and the police were called and White was finally removed. Up. Uh, well, we finally got a reason to get her out of there. She just had to kill, you know, old Gramps down the hall. Like, what? Born in July 1966 as Stephen Terrence Wood, the, um, the former Manchester drag artist was convicted in 2001 on two charges of indecent assault and gross indecency of a child of primary school age and jailed for 18 months. While in prison, he changed his name to... They're still... They're still respecting his pronouns. They're saying she, her. Okay, obviously they are. It's so insane to me. I'm sorry. It's insane. While in prison, he changed his name to David Thompson. Okay, so his real name is Stephen Terrence Wood. And he is a former Manchester drag artist. And he was convicted on two charges of indecent assault and gross indecency of a child of primary school age. And only jailed for 18 months. We don't care about children. We don't care about women. We don't care about girls. It's obvious. We care about men's fantasies and their role-playing desires and their jerk-off exhibitionist fantasy bullshit. And the, oh my god! So uh, and then he changed his name to David Thompson. So he already changed his name. He already clearly every time he gets in trouble or has some like heinous crime that he's committed. He goes through these iterations of, of trying to dissociate from that and, and change his identity. But, but we, what, you guys didn't see this coming? Uh, White's arrest for that stab, stabbing and a burglary in 2017 came just as the Ministry of Justice updated its policy on the care and, on the, quote, care and management of transgender prisoners after the death of two trans prisoners in male prisons. Well, like, guess what? Do you know how many fucking men die in prison, too? No, really. These are the, like, oh, it sounds so awful when it's a trans person. Men are violent. Men kill each other. Men are violent towards each other. This is, this shit just happens. But, though, uh, this is why women need to be separated from this shit. Um, the new 60 page policy introduced in January 2017 emphasized the right of prisoners to quote self identify and be treated quote according to the gender in which they identify previously prisoners and again I want to know what does that mean the gender that they previously identified well, well what are the requirements okay what do they have to grow their hair out a certain length do they have to wear like a certain type of blouse what does it mean to live as a woman when you were a man I would love to know what that standard looks like. Love to know what that criteria is. What does that mean? What, because he changed his name to Karen? Come on, bro. Come on, dog. Like, this is still, listen, this is still like a legal male. Uh, uh, previously, prisoners requiring such treatment would have needed a gender recognition certificate a G or a GRC or to have had a medical diagnosis of gender dysphoria. Not anymore. We don't need it to be medicalized because it's not, it's a medical condition that requires medical intervention, but it's not a medical, dis, uh, it's not a medical condition that requires any sort of diagnosis. It's just something that, you know, we just kind of move the goalposts anytime we want something in our favor. Citing Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights, the new policy allowed for those who did not have GRC and who identified as a different gender to, uh, to their biological sex to be located, quote, in the part of the estate consistent with the gender they identify with. 
A government survey has counted 125 transgender prisoners in England and Wales, which is likely to be an underestimate, especially now that we have self-identification laws. It's about to explode. According to MOJ figures released in response to a freedom of information request by BBC, 60 of them have been convicted of one or more sexual offenses. Francis Cook, the chief executive of the Howard League of Penal Reform, said grave mistakes were made in the white case and the safety of vulnerable women should have been paramount. But it wasn't. It wasn't. And it's still not. And if you guys haven't burned this GRC book or whatever, you know, new 200 page rule book for for recognizing uh the the gender of trans people if you haven't burned that yet then no you don't believe that the safety of women should have been paramount and you don't care you know put your actions where your mouth is uh cook has previously said it is a very toxic debate but i think prisons have probably oh, i'm gonna do okay it is a very toxic debate, but I think prisons have probably been influenced by some of the extreme conversions, conversations, and have been bullied into making some decisions that have been harmed woman, women. In my view, any man who has committed a serious sexual assault or violent offence against women who then wants to transfer but has not gone through the whole process still has a penis, still has male hormones, should not be put in a woman's prison. This may be a case for having separate provision, but that is a debate to be had. What do you guys think? Oh, anybody who's, any of my like British followers, please let me know how you think my, my lovely accent is. The government is currently carrying out a consultation about reforming the gender recognition. Oh, it hasn't done it yet. Is currently carrying out a consultation about reforming the Gender Recognition Act. It is stated that we are, quote, not necessarily proposing self-declaration of gender, end quote, but some groups opposed to the changes fear a process of self-identification could give dangerous men posing as trans women access to vulnerable women such as those in prison. Mm-hmm. The government is, uh, whatever the case with white, it is clear the prison service is under increasing pressure with this rapidly developing area of policy. But Bishop argues that cases like whites are still rare. Yeah, they're rare because we haven't put a bunch of trans-identified uh, males with women yet. We, there's no chance, there's no opportunity for this to happen yet. Oh, but trust and believe, once we enact these policies, then they will be, I guess, so it drives me crazy. And they're like, oh, the statistics just don't bear out. That's because we don't have, these laws have not been enacted yet. These are proposals. And, and where they have been enacted, we are seeing it. Um, the case board, quote, the case boards are a good way of doing things. You can't say the system is wrong when it goes wrong once. It's almost the exception that proves the rule. You've just got to look at what went wrong and make sure it doesn't happen again. No system is perfect. It's human nature that people will sometimes get it wrong. Okay. Okay. Who is this person? This bishop person belongs in jail. Every single person involved with that board belongs in jail. Every single person who uh, is involved with the Gender Recognition Act uh, belongs in jail and they should have all of their finances stripped and, and there should be a redistribution to every single woman who's ever had to interact with uh, white against her will. There should be a public flogging. This should never, this should never happen again. There, there should be no conversation. The conversation is done as far as I'm concerned burn that 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 book whatever the gender recognition act burn it keep these freak shows away from vulnerable women it is cruel and unusual behavior to place male bodied people men males in female prisons and this is why <laughs>